Hey people, welcome to my channel. If you're tuning in for the very first time, I appreciate your click, I appreciate your like, I appreciate your subscription. If you're not, how y'all doing? Welcome, 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 welcome. Today we are going to be talking about saving for your dream wedding. Woohoo! I know that word dream wedding is so catchy because everybody talks about their dream wedding. You know, a lot of people say they've been dreaming about their wedding since they were a kid. Not me. I didn't have time for that when I was a kid. But a lot of people have been. And in today's world, every ad you see is dream wedding, dream wedding. In fact, sometimes you see dream wedding or royal wedding. It's just idea that every girl should have a certain kind of wedding. Well, that's not really the case. So let's talk about saving for your dream wedding. And I'm going to use dream wedding a lot in quotation because... A lot of what people are selling as their dream wedding, I'm not buying. And I hope you're not too. But just in case you are, thank God you're here because let's really talk about that word, dream wedding. All Today right. we have five ways to save up for your dream wedding. <laughs> I'm, gosh, I'm so sure you're going to get annoyed at the amount of time when I say dream wedding. But I'm trying to drive in a point. So bear with me here. All right? If you talk to anybody about weddings, no matter what their budget is, Everybody has one thing in common, to a certain degree, which is saving. Everyone's trying to get a deal. No matter how rich you are, it's like the rational thing to do to want to get a deal. Okay, so whether you have a $6,000 wedding or you're having a $50,000 wedding, you're at some point going to want to find out, how can I get a deal? Like, how can I get this for not this price, for something lower? It's like I said, I honestly feel... It's a rational behavior because everybody gets to a point in life where they realize there is, in fact, life after the wedding, okay? You need to pay your rent. You need to pay your mortgage. You need to take your children to school. Like, things happen after wedding. Wedding is not the end all and be all. So people need to be, you know, smart about it, okay? All okay, right, so, so the, the first thing to do when you're trying to save up for your dream wedding, hello, people. Number one, you got to change that dream, okay? And the reason I'm saying this is because a lot of times, like I said previously, that dream wedding is not really your dream wedding. It's what society has said should be your dream wedding. That dream wedding is not based on you. That dream wedding is not about you. It's about the last wedding you went for and how you can up that wedding, okay? That dream wedding is not about you. It's about what your family and in-laws are expecting from you. So really, at the end of the day, it's not your dream wedding, it is their dream wedding, and that's not the point, you're trying to get married in your dream wedding. So number one, I would say, if that dream wedding is costing you $50,000, uh-uh, you need to have your dream wedding. So find out, ask yourself, what makes this wedding my dream wedding, and not what the people around me are expecting, or not what Instagram pages are saying should be my dream wedding. What is making this wedding about me and my spouse to be? Okay, so change that dream wedding. A lot of times you'll see that that cost slashes way, way below because you are putting so much pressure on having society's dream wedding instead of your dream wedding. Okay, number two, number two, as I tell everybody in this world, you need to have a budget, you need to have a plan, and you need to stick with it. There's an old saying that says, if you don't, if you if you fail to plan, you're going to plan to fail, okay? So you always have to have a goal. This is how much I want to spend. This is the what I can afford. And this is what I can, what's the other word? This is what I have. And this is what I can afford. Because you can have one thing. You can have $10,000 in your account. Doesn't mean you can afford a $10,000 wedding, right? Because, yo, you got to live after the wedding. So really, this is what I have. And this is what I can, I, I can afford. And this is the maximum I'm ever going to go. You always have to remember your budget is going to set you on the path. And if you don't have a budget, you're just going to like spend here and there. And then at the end of the day, you're like, why did I spend all that money? This man even snores in bed. Why? <laughs> so please, please, please always remember you need, you, you need a budget. You need to stick with it. Pull your guns together. Summon all that will because there will be temptations along the way. It's the wedding industry. There's going to be the next dress that's going to be so wow you want to have it there's going to be the next thing in wedding design on your centerpiece is so great you want to have it but remember your budget remember why you have it and stick to it okay number three if you want to save up for that dream wedding if that dream wedding is costing you more than you have right now you may not like this but you need to give yourself more time a lot of times these days we're seeing a lot of shorter engagements 
that's not everybody's lot in life <laughs> based on your account you might need a longer engagement and that's fine i've had people i've known of brides who waited for two years from the engagement till they actually went, walked down the aisle and a lot of times they'll tell you because this was what we wanted for our wedding and this was the only way to afford it they needed to make more money and they needed more time more time gives you a lot of benefit you're able to find deals you're not in a rush you're not paying those rush fees pretty much you can make more money when you have more time and then you can afford your real truthfully dream wedding okay number four like i said you need to make more money while you have enough time to make more more money if your dream wedding is still a lot too dreamy for you okay then you need to maybe consider more income find a way to make more income it could be taking up another job it could be working long hours whatever floats your boat i personally i can have multiple i would say obviously go for multiple streams of income as i would tell anybody whether you're wedding planning or not but don't do anything that crosses the line where you're just getting over to stress being stressed out you're not cultivating your relationships with your family your husband to be your wife to be and you're just dug on making more money making more money because i want some kind of dream wedding really it gets to a point where you're just like okay that's just too much it's just a wedding people it is just a wedding so you have to ask yourself at what point is it okay for me to have more income more most more, more streams of income or work longer hours to be able to afford the kind of wedding i want to have I've always dreamed of having for myself and not for other people okay and the fifth and final one you need to find deals and discounts people these things are available and back to number three point if you have more time you have more time to actually search out these deals and discount vendors are always throwing deals our way like it happens every year it's part of advertising Oh, buy this and get this free it happens even in the wedding industry you need more time when you have that more time you can actually sit down take your time and find out what who's having those deals but please 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 do not let only the price drive you because you do not want to sign a contract because of a great price and then read later on the contract that things are not so great after all okay so keep that in mind when you're when you're looking for deals please read the fine print people read the fine print and yes, that's about it. Those are the five ways I think you can have your dream wedding. And let's go quickly through them again. Number one, you may need to change that dream, okay? Have your dream wedding and not society's dream wedding. Number two, oh, I'm going to have to check on this one. I forgot already. Number two, have a budget and stick to it. You cannot plan a wedding without a plan. Your plan slash budget is what I'm talking about. You need to have it and you need to stick to it. Do not be tempted along the way because temptations will come, but stick to it. Number three, give yourself more time. That one year engagement you were hoping for might not be flexible for enough for you. You might need a two year, you might need a three year. If you're needing a four year, honey, you need to change that dream, okay? But you might need more time to be able to actually afford the wedding you have. Number four, make more money. You might need to work longer hours. You might need to have another kind of job a part-time job i don't know you do you but literally you have to work to make more money okay and number five search for deals and discount from the vendors around do not think this is all there is to it you always have to ask the vendor do you have any deals do you have any promotions going on that i should be aware of whether it's your venue whether it's a photographer every vendor you come across you need to ask that question negotiate respectfully yes I would say negotiate respectfully. Don't if someone says I have a package for two thousand five hundred, don't tell them to give it to you for a thousand dollars. That's just been insulted. Ask them what do you have, what promotions or deal do you have that you think I may be able to take advantage of. That's a nice way to say, but you always need to ask. Okay, don't be afraid to ask for deals and discounts. These things exist. Make use of them. Alrighty, I'm not sure how long I've stayed on this video, but I'm gonna be wrapping up right now. And I hope you're able to actually plan your dream wedding with these five ways I, I have talked about. If you want to read the post in depth, click on the link below in the description, and I'll see you another time. Bye guys.